Okay, all right. So hi everyone. Uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us um today on a um beautiful Tuesday morning. And I hope everyone has really taken your breakfast or your morning coffee. Or some mentioned you. I mean, uh, some of you were like still waiting. I mean, it's already waiting for a lunch time. All right. So before that, let me introduce myself. I'm um Waning from work, and we are actually a community centric, um, co working space with the mission to help people um prosper by working together. Right. And today we are happy to have uh Mr. Andy from Alchemy Resources, who will be sharing with us on how can SME save costs and benefit from outsourcing payroll. Also for um, everyone's um, inform, uh, information, this is actually also our first HR series that uh, we are doing today. And our upcoming next week and the following after, we will have additional um, two more of the HR series with another topic, which are the uh, performance management and also the following week, which will be the employee engagement topic that we'll be sharing with everyone. So all you need to do is um, just have a look out in your email or even better is to check on both our work or even um, Alchemy Resources on um, social media for more information. All right. So if you have any questions as well regarding um, today's topic, especially um, on the outsourcing payroll, so don't be shy to ask away, right? You can um, ask Andy and Andy will actually be picking it up from either the chat box or from the uh, Mentimeter later. All right, so um, without further ado, um, let me hand over the stage to uh, Mr. Andy. So over to you, Andy. Okay. Uh, thank you, Waning. And good morning, everyone. Uh, hope you have a good week so far. Uh, so um, just a brief um, introduction about uh, myself. And also later, uh, we can go on to talk about the topic of today which is uh, how can SME save costs by outsourcing their payroll. So uh, Alchemy, um, we, we have been uh, around uh, since uh, 2014. So uh, we are currently doing a couple of things. We provide a payroll outsourcing service. We also provide a business processing outsourcing service. Uh, we have recently added into our portfolio uh, PDPA outsourcing as well. So those are, we, we, we primarily focus on um, creating solution for clients so that clients can uh, outsource uh, that function to us so that they can focus more on their core activities. Yeah? So uh, we are a small company, so we know uh, what are the issues that uh, small businesses face. You know, uh, some of the, uh, maybe at this point, let me share my uh, screen now. Yeah. Yep. Okay, can you see my screen, everyone? Yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah. So uh so today's topic is uh how can SME save money and benefit from uh, payroll outsourcing? Yeah. Uh so uh as a small business owner myself, uh we do understand what are the common you know issues that small uh business owner face, you know, like for example, HR issues, yeah. Uh, outsourcing is one of the common issues. Do you want to outsource? Uh, would it cost uh, me a lot of money to do that? Uh, is the outsource uh, company reliable? You know, uh, we have a performance issue, right? How can I uh, motivate my employees? You know, what can I do in terms of performance management uh, to drive business? So those are some of the common uh, HR uh, related uh, issues that uh, a small business owner uh, face. Yeah? So uh, uh, today, we start off this series together with uh, WorkQ so that we can help small business owner uh, to look at those issues and uh, possibly giving them some ideas how they can resolve their, those issues. Okay? So with that, let me go on to the presentation. Um, uh, it, it is a short presentation. Uh, the whole purpose is to share with you uh, what are the solutions available out there. Uh, not, necessary, not necessarily you have to look at uh, Alchemy to get those solutions, but some of those solutions out there so that you can consider those solutions. Because uh, for SME, I think uh, most business, small business owner focus is on cash flow. You know, how can I uh, manage my cash flow well? You know, how can I... Um, 
uh, drive my business in terms of sales and revenue. So those those are usually the top uh, two or three uh, uh, issues that small business owner think about. Uh, very 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 little of them think about uh, payroll because uh, payroll is uh, uh, it's something very administrative, but unfortunately something that we have to do as well. So let us uh, review. Uh, some of the content that we're going to talk about. So we're going to talk about uh, some common problems uh, in terms of um, uh, payroll. Uh, in terms of payroll, what are some of the common problems that you face? Uh, I will share a simple survey later. Uh, I will give you a uh, quote later. So I encourage you to share because um, the answer that you gave is anonymous. So to share what are the issues that you may face uh, from a payroll perspective. Then I will share with you what is actually payroll outsourcing. You know, you, you may have heard of it, but what actually does it involve? Uh, and how can it help you to save money, right? So then we talk about the four benefits that will help you to save money. Uh, we will then share a case study that uh, we have to illustrate to you how can a small business owner take advantage of payroll outsourcing. And then uh, finally, uh, look at some of the consideration and then just talk a little bit about ourselves and then we can go on to a question and answer question. Okay, uh, at this point, any question from the participants here? No, yeah, so I'll go on to the next chart. Okay, so here uh, is something that uh, I believe uh, uh, many of you can identify with, you know, uh, whichever industry you are in, a uh, payroll is probably not something uh, on top of your priority list. Yeah? Because as I mentioned earlier, uh, most small business owners uh, focus on growing the business, uh, getting the uh, uh, revenue in, and you know, uh, making sure there's enough uh, cash flow. So those are the key issues that um, business owners face. A very, very small number, I would say, will you know, uh, think of, payroll and how payroll can help them. However, uh, it is something that we have to do because, uh, and we have to do it right, because if not, uh, the cost of not doing it right would be, uh, it can be it lead up to penalty if you do not, uh, especially on the statutory payments. Yeah? And, and also at the end of the year, which is coming soon, you know, you, you realize that you have to prepare all the form EA for your employees as well as the form E for the company for submission. Yeah. So here, uh, I would like to uh, engage you. Uh, so can you go to mentimeter.com? Yeah, go to mentimeter.com. Uh, there is a code uh, here I will get out and then uh, go on to the Mentimeter uh, form. Uh, alternatively, you can um, uh, use this QR code, uh, scan the QR code, and go on to the Mentimeter form as well. Yeah, Are you able to do that? Can I have a show of, um, you know, uh, hands in the chat groups? How, how many of you have managed to do that or you face any problem? Okay, can you see this page? Uh, can you see this page? Are you able to log in to menti.com and then you can use the code 74663696. Anyone have any uh, issues doing that? Ah, okay, some of you have already entered, yeah, very good, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, just uh, you have uh, you can put in three uh, issues that you face today. So I, I encourage you to share what are the issues that you face, and then you can see some of the uh, common problems that we as a small business owner face in terms of payroll. A anyone have any issues uh, logging in? Can okay.
Yeah, I, I will give another couple of minutes so that uh, for you to log in as well as to share some of the problems, common problems that you do face, yeah? So if you have any, uh, if you have any other questions, you can use this, um, uh, this the second slide here. Uh, you can enter your question as well. Uh, if not, we can use the chat bot later, the, the chat element later to discuss some of the questions that you have. Yeah. So today is very much about sharing uh, what are the issues that you face and how I can help to advise you. Yeah. So let's look at it again. Okay. So you can see. Uh, a couple of common theme, yeah. So I will do a, a screenshot here. Okay, uh, so you can see here, uh, this is a word cloud. So you will see that time consuming is a common theme. Yeah, everyone here, uh, most, of, most of the people here feels that uh, it's very time consuming to do payroll, yeah? especially uh, at the end of the month. Yeah, we have just passed that. So now we are working on uh, statutory payment, right? So very time consuming. Uh, a few of uh, uh, this, uh, same, uh, issues as well for example calculations wrong calculations not not sure how to do that so later I, I will share with you how to solve this problem yeah wrong calculations are uh, tedious yes it is it can be quite tedious if you are not sure what to do uh, lack of resources uh, by lack of resources I would think that um, uh, you mean that you you do not have uh, uh, dedicated resources uh, in your organization just to do HR matter or payroll matters, yeah? So I think, um, is, is that a correct um, uh, way of interpreting this uh, lack of resources? So let me see whether there's any, yeah. And then uh, slow, slow, I, I, by that I think it's similar to time consuming. Uh, I'm not sure what does changing bank for payroll means. Uh, and also manually generate this lead. Yeah. Okay. So some of these problems that you have uh, highlighted here. Yeah. I'm glad you uh, mentioned this because uh, we have solutions for these problems uh, and we can discuss about that later. Okay. So thank you for uh, participating in this uh, very short and simple survey. So what you, you can see here is that really you're not alone. Yeah. The most of us are feeling similar pain points here. So therefore, uh, today we'll share with you how you can overcome those pain points, okay? So let me stop sharing now. I will do a screenshot first so that we can go back to uh, some of these uh, problems that you face. Okay, so uh, we have get the um, survey done. So we can we can see that uh, it's time consuming, right? It's tedious, uh, wrong calculation. So these are the common problems. So how can we solve uh, payroll for you? So so let's let's go and understand. Yeah. So as you have uh, as you have uh, mentioned earlier, so these are some of the common issues that we face. Uh, we we hear from our clients. Yeah. So. Things like so time consuming, uh, error prone. And then uh, what you what some of you have not mentioned is maintaining the records. How can you ensure that you maintain your records for the end of the year calculations? So these are some of the problems that small business owners face. But C suite buying. So 
Um, you, you may be the uh, CEO of the company, or you may be the CFO, or you may be the CIO, <clears throat> excuse me, or you may be all row in one. So what you will find that if you focus on the positive, that means uh, how, how can payroll help you to generate more productivity? How can payroll help you to save costs? And also how can payroll help you to safeguard your data? Then you will see that those are really quite um, good reasons why you should have a look at payroll and put some effort into it. And what are the solutions available out there for you? Uh, of course, uh, what uh, I don't see just now are uh, payroll fraud and uh, there is accuracy, which we mentioned, but uh, some of the issues like uh, falsi falsifying the records in terms of uh, time and attendance. So those, are, so those are some common problems as well. And uh, obviously, uh, you do not want to underpay your employees. So uh, no, in fact, nobody likes to be underpaid. So, so those are some of the things that uh, are very common uh, from, that we hear from our clients. Yeah? Oh, and also uh, tax compliance. Uh, this is a especially um, important part because uh, for SME, when your um, employees uh, leave uh, your company, for example, uh, please bear in mind, it is your responsibility yeah, to calculate uh, and withhold the uh, tax uh, for that employee as the employee leaves. Yeah? Because if not, then as a company, you will be responsible for the tax if the employee have any uh, outstanding tax. So this part is uh, fairly uh, important as well, but not so common, I, I would say, yeah, as some of the uh, pain points that uh, SME talk about, okay? So I'll go on to the next chart. So, so really, what is payroll outsourcing? I mean, uh, you've heard of it. So uh, it, in the following uh, next two slides, I will just share with you what uh, payroll outsourcing service actually encompasses, yeah? So to us, uh, payroll outsourcing is a B2B service. Uh, what we do is we offer this service to uh, clients uh, small, smaller clients or big clients, we offer that to them. What we do is uh, we help them to uh, collect um, variances. We then help them to process the payroll. After we help them to process the, the payroll, we will send it uh, to the HR department or to the uh, directors for review. Uh, to check whether there's any inaccuracy or to make sure that he has a look at it. And then if that is okay, uh, we will complete the payroll and release the payroll into the system. And then, then we, depending on the service that our client take up with us, we can even help them to upload the bank files. Uh, we will uh, help them to manage the statutory uh, uh, files upload as well. So to us, a payroll outsourcing is a hands-free service that we offer to our client, meaning uh, all the client need to do is to tell us uh, what are the variants for that month. Uh, if you are using a HR software, uh, then there is really no need to uh, tell us what are the variants because we can capture those variants, especially things like um, no pay leave, uh, especially things like uh, claims, if you, you use uh, the software to manage the claims. And if uh, you have, uh, you give, if you give OT to your employees and you have the time and attendance uh, features in the software, then there's really no need to um, tell us the variance. We will be able to capture that. And after that, we will take it, calculate, and then uh, send a report for you for review. So it is really a very hands-free approach. Yeah? So, uh, so next, let's uh, have, a re uh, have a view of this video that we have produced. Uh, it, it illustrates how we conduct our payroll. Uh, but I have to um, uh, ask you to forgive me because the voiceover is not very good, but uh, let's watch it for a couple of minutes. Huh? Can, you, can you see, is the screen too small? Is the screen too small? It's okay, yeah? So I will play it, okay? Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so uh, it's a very simple um, video to explain how we do our payroll. So basically, as I mentioned earlier, and it's stated in the uh, video, uh, we will have a cutoff date whereby we understand your variances. Then we will analyze it, we will prepare it, and then we'll send it to you. So it's really uh, to you, a uh, very hands-free approach so that all you need to do is to look at it, approve it, and then you can then focus your resources on other important thing that we talk about for small uh, business owner, for example, like growing your sales, you know, and also managing cash flows and, and, and issues like that. Okay. So now let us talk about uh, the four uh, main benefits that we see. Yeah. So the first one is uh, really it's uh, just now in some of the pain points that you mentioned in the Mentimeter, uh, it's time consuming. Uh, so this part will address that. So all you need to do is to uh, pass the work to us or any other payroll outsourcing um, uh, company, as well as uh, if, you, if you would like not to outsource, you can also consider using a HR software uh, that is approved by all the statutory bodies. So that will help you to, uh, but you still need to assign someone to, to prepare the payroll, but uh, it, will, it will definitely help you to save some time. Yeah? And, and as we say in business, time is money. So yeah, if this function uh, does not help you to generate uh, 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 revenue, so there is a better way of doing it that you can consider outsourcing it. Uh, secondly, save time, uh, save money. So uh, save money, there's two uh, areas. One is uh, improve your productivity for your uh, employees. And if you have a HR department, uh, you will know that in HR, there are other uh, higher value HR activity that the employees can do. Uh, for example, like training and development. Uh, for example, in terms of recruitment, whereby it can help you to... Uh, uh, improve the quality of your staff work so that they can help you to drive more revenue. Uh, secondly, save money in terms of penalty. Uh, if you don't do it right, uh, there is a possibility that you can get penalty and that by doing this, it will help you to save money. Third, compliant, as we, met, uh, as we mentioned earlier, 
It is the company responsibility to calculate and report taxes for employees who are leaving. So please take that in, uh, in mind. And also uh, in terms of compliance, uh, uh, we use HR software uh, that is always updated with the statutory regulations. Uh, if there's any changes, uh, you can be assured that uh, the software we use will have that changes updated. So if you do not, you are using manual method, then you have to ensure that you meet those compliance. Yeah? Okay. Then lastly, uh, in terms of uh, improved uh, data security, as we uh, move on more and more to uh, digitization, uh, having a, a industrial revolution 4.0, we will be exposing a lot of our data. Yeah. So um, if you are not using uh, uh, HR software or you are still using uh, manual processes, it is very difficult to protect those uh, personal data. Yeah? So, uh, so do consider using software. Uh, if you outsource to a third party, then they will ensure that they will help you to safeguard your uh, data. So, end of the day, um, is it worth uh, to outsource or look at a HR solution? So, uh, these are something that as business owner, uh, you, you should evaluate it. But from our experiences, for ourselves and working with our clients, it's definitely worth it because it helps them to uh, achieve uh, these four things. Yeah, okay. So uh, at this moment, I'll talk a little bit about a case study. Uh, the case study talks about one of our uh, clients. Yeah. Uh, so our client is, uh, uh, is an SME. They are an aesthetic company and um, they do have a HR uh, manager. However, the HR manager is not so familiar with uh, payroll, payroll calculations. So uh, what happened uh, is um, he lacks the knowledge and also the ability to keep up with the changes. And he did make some mistakes in terms of uh, doing the payroll. And unfortunately, those mistakes are compounded over a quite a long period of time. And that really result in uh, uh, penalties by the statutory bodies. So, uh, so then they start looking for a payroll outsource uh, provider. Uh, and then um, eventually they selected us and then we helped them to manage their payroll as well as their HR function. So, uh, so what we offer is a comprehensive um, HR administration as well as payroll function. The other uh, service that we deliver is um, um, the, the HR software that we use. Uh, it's on one unified solution. It can be accessed either as a web-based solution and as a mobile app. So in this solution, um, employees can download their payslip. So you know, just now one of the issues that we talk about is uh, manual printing of pay slips. Uh, you no longer have to do that uh, because employee can simply download their pay slip. Uh, in terms of claims, uh, the employees can submit the claims uh, using the mobile app. Then the uh, manager can approve it. And then that will be routed to the payroll site. So it's very uh, seamless and you will not encounter mistakes along this way yeah okay and also at the end of the year which is coming soon for all of us uh, there's a need to prepare form ea and form a so uh, that is um, something that it's very tedious as some of you mentioned and also quite time consuming so if you use a uh, hr uh, a payroll software then that can help you to do it actually quite quickly yeah because you are consolidating the data on month-to-month -month basis. And then at the end of December, all you need to do is to do a final reconciliation and do a calculation. So this can be done quite, quite effortlessly, effortlessly and help you to save time and money. And obviously, uh, our customers are very happy for the last three years. So, uh, so these are some of the services that we deliver. So uh, some accomplishment to share with you. Um, so as a result of that, um, the clients feel 
that they are having better administrative uh, work done currently in their work. So they really do focus more on recruitment and the more administrative work they outsource to us. Uh, employee can have on-demand uh, service when they use the HR software. And also in terms of uh, uh, communicating with the clients, there's only a single point of contact for us so that there will not be any miscommunication. Uh, we, we try to do that and reduce the uh, miscommunication. Uh, what we have also done is uh, we have a payroll monitoring system that we implement so that we break down each steps into a process and we track those individual steps uh, using the HR management system so that we are always on top of the situation. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so we managed to uh, accomplish for this client and they are very happy with us. Yeah. So here, just want to share with you, uh, we do offer uh, various types of uh, uh, services. Uh, it really depends at the end of the day of the clients. Uh, we can offer very simple, just, uh, uh, just HR software, if you would like to, if you want to continue to process the payroll by yourself, or we could help you to prepare the payroll, uh, provide you the software, help you to manage the annual E&A uh, preparation, or do as complex as uh, even outsourcing your HR function to us. It's really up to you. I uh, just want to share that with you so that you can have it. Uh, you can also go to our website if you want to find out more, or you can, uh, after this uh, uh, sharing session, you can uh, contact us and we can see how we can help you. Yeah, but I think uh, the main message is um, consider the benefits and really do consider taking action in terms of helping you to manage this pain point that you have in your business. Yeah, because in business, uh, we have many uh, different pain points and the less pain point we have, uh, the better will be for us. Yeah. Okay. So a little bit about uh, ourselves. Um, so uh, we have uh, participated. We have participated in a uh, um, uh, competition to uh, benchmark ourselves to see how well we are doing. So you know, uh, one of the consideration really for small businesses is how trustworthy and how good is a, a payroll outsourcing uh, a vendor. Yeah. So uh, so uh, very gladly. Uh, we are very progressive and we have used a lot of uh, digital solution. So we, uh, uh, we managed to clinch the uh, best uh, payroll outsource uh, partner award uh, last year. Uh, we received the gold award. And um, so, so we're very, very happy about that. And we will continue to improve our service uh, for our clients. So a little bit about myself. I'm, um, uh, I'm a certified trainer. I'm also a certified uh, curriculum designer and I'm also a certified management consultant by Tusut. Uh, I have uh, uh, slightly more than 10 years in terms of uh, consulting experience. And I used to work for um, uh, American uh, uh, MNC like DuPont and GE. And I'm um, passionate about helping uh, a small business owner because I'm a small business owner myself. So I understand uh, the many challenges that you face. Yeah. So if you have any question, uh, these are the ways that you can uh, find us. You can either um, uh, send an inquiry to us using inquiries at alchemyconsultancy.asia. Uh, you can call me on my mobile or you can go to our website, yeah, alchemyconsultancy.asia. So with that, uh, I have come to the end of our uh, my presentation. So uh, I will next be open to any uh, question that you may have, okay? So um, morning, I'm, uh, I'm completed, yeah. All right, uh, thanks Andy for um, sharing with us today uh, on how can uh, SME save costs and benefit from the outsourcing payroll today. So we still have a little bit more time. So if let's say anyone here has any question, so feel free to uh, ask away in the chat box below. Uh, Andy will be able to help you, right? If you are facing any HR 
uh, difficulty, I mean, as in the payroll difficulty or any questions that you'd like to clarify. So ask away. Oh, Jian has a question to Andy. <clears throat> Thanks, Jian. Uh, so Jian is asking, how much can companies save or how much is the range for employee per month? Maybe Andy, you can, yeah. Okay. So in terms of quantifying the savings, right? So, uh, so uh, what I normally will do is, uh, uh, if you look at hiring a HR person to do the work, uh, and usually uh, the HR work will be, uh, the payroll work will be conducted uh, roughly around, um, I would estimate it as uh, two or three days of work. So, uh, so, so, and then sometimes may even be longer if your uh, company size is bigger. So I will estimate that uh, if you have an employee that is um, uh, having a salary of uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, 3,000 ringgit and then divide it over 20 days, so you can save, I would say, roughly about five to six days worth of time that the employee can focus on other things. Yeah. So, so does that answer your question? Uh, Uh, the second question is how much is the range for employee per month in terms of salary? Um, uh, is it okay to talk about price, uh, Wani? Uh, or, or, or we do uh, or we do direct message. <laughs> <laughs> if uh, I mean it, it, I mean if it's okay for um us here, I think it should be fine. But it's so better I'll, to yeah <laughs> keep it general. Yeah, <laughs> I'll I'll keep it general. So yeah. uh, our fee structure is in terms of per employee per month. And generally speaking, it's less than 50 ringgit per employee. Yeah. And we do not choose to say that you must have uh, certain numbers. Yeah. So, so that is our fee structure. Yeah. So it can be as cheap as uh, 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 less than, let's say, for example, 200 ringgit yeah. <laughs> for a few employees. Yeah. Okay, so that itself can take a, away a lot of time, a lot of pain for you in terms of doing the work. Yeah. Okay, I hope that answers your question, uh, Jamie. Is, is, is there any other questions? Uh, okay, yeah, thanks. Last one, yeah, from Nishita Shuresh. Uh, sorry, can you repeat for what size company they, they can save five to six days of a time? Uh, okay, so if you, uh, I'm, I'm saying that if you do it manually, okay, so you probably have a spreadsheet and you need to consolidate the data. Like for example, uh, if you have uh, no pay leave, then you need to consolidate the, the leave records. Then you have any claims and you need to put them together. So the consolidation stage will take some time, right? The, the HR person will need to go to different departments or, or chase the employee for information. So that will be uh, a couple of days of, time in terms of getting those information. Then once you get those information, you consolidate it, you put it in an Excel spreadsheet to run the calculation. And then after that you check, maybe you double check or triple check. Then, so those are the time that I estimate. Yeah. So it is not a fixed figure, but definitely uh, if you add that into the salary of the uh, HR employee that's doing that, so there will be some savings involved. Did I manage to answer your question? Thank you. Mm. So any other, uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask, you know, I can uh, answer. Uh, if I can answer, I, I, I will do that to, to help you to understand that. Any more questions from the floor? <laughs> ah, so uh, one more thing I forgot to mention just now. Uh, okay. In our participation with work queue, we are running a promotion, right? Uh, one day. Yeah, so I can mention about the promotion, right? So, so if you uh, sign up with us, um, uh, there is a 10% promotion going on because of our collaboration with work here. Yeah. So uh, do take that in mind. So uh, if you do, if you do uh, made up the mind to do that, so do contact us, yeah. Uh, yeah, another, another thing that I would want to uh, state is, um, you know, it, it, when it comes to payroll, in order to help you to manage the payroll, I would really suggest um, at a minimum to look at uh, using a HR payroll software because that itself can 
help you to solve a lot of problems, right? It helps you to consolidate the uh, timesheets. It helps you to consolidate the lead. It helps you to consolidate the uh, claims that you may have. It, it really does help you to save a lot of time. Uh, then in terms of compliance, uh, you will not be afraid of any mistakes that you make, right? Because uh, software provider uh, has to be compliant before the statutory bodies approve them, right? So, so that as a minimum will help you to save a lot of time uh, and money. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I guess uh, we can wrap up um, today's session if uh, there's like no more questions for today. All right, so, all right, cool. Thank you, Andy, once again um, for sharing with us today uh, on how can uh, you know, SME save costs and benefit from uh, outsourcing payroll. All right, I hope everyone too already, uh, I mean, has some takeaway from today's session and hope it'll be helpful for you and your company. And before that, so do come back and join us in our second HR series on performance management. Uh, what is it and what are the benefits that is actually happening on next Tuesday on the 16th November, same time, right, uh, at 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. So don't miss out. So just have a um, look out, keep a look out in your email, all right, or check us out on our social media uh, for work is uh, at work on Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn. And on Alkani uh, Resources, you can actually check out their website, alkaniresources.asia, for more updates. All right, so let's uh, end today's session and I hope to see everyone again in the next week's session. So thank you and have a great day, everyone. Bye. Thanks, Andy. Bye. Thank you.